Hey guys, this is Tal from ArcWithTal.com. We just finished our first week at Kirit Safra here in Jordan. And I thought I'd make this video so that you guys could see what it looks like in a typical day in the life of an archaeologist. After we get done working after a couple hours, we take a break for breakfast. And this is one of our favorite times because we get to eat watermelon, and the watermelon here is so good. And after we take our break, we get back to digging. Alright, show us our walls. Where's our walls? Uh, here are the, the main wall. The other one over there. We don't quite know yet if this is a wall also. Yep. And it's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Well, My job as a square supervisor isn't necessarily to always be digging, but I'm responsible for all the recording and pictures that are taking place while we are digging. And all of this recording is so that we can maintain control of our area. And then we'll wrap up at around noon. Another reason why we get out there so early is so we beat the heat of the day, because it gets really hot here in Jordan. And we have our friend DJ Khaled. Yeah, we have Khaled here. DJ with Khaled. Yeah. Khaled, give us an Arabic tongue twister. Utter. Say it again. Yeah. Sham 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 sushi stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When we get back to the hotel in Madaba, we then do our pottery reading and pottery wash. Now pottery to an archaeologist is more valuable than silver and gold, and it's because of a thing we like to call ceramic typology. Ceramic typology is actually the way that we date things in areas that we're in, because just like with an iPhone or something like that where we have different generations, with ceramics, 
you have different styles and forms that develop over time. And so we can see a particular form and be able to classify the area or context that we're in based on that particular form. This is why pottery reading is so important, so that we can plan out the next day what we're going to do. And also we can see what kind of time period we're in and we know what to look for. And the way we do pottery reading is that we lay out all of our pieces of pottery and then we read them. We have experts like Dr. Paul Greger and Dr. Paul Ray who read our pottery and tell us exactly where they are and they can tell us what form of the pottery is just by something that big. <laughs> And when we're done reading the pottery, it's time to then wash the pottery that we collected that day. A lot of these pieces of pottery are covered in thousands of years of dirt, and we have to scrub it off so we can get a better reading of it the next day when we analyze it. We also have to be very careful during the washing process because sometimes the ancient peoples like to write on them. And so we don't want to scrub off any ink that they might have put on there. And inscriptions are really important for sites like this because right now it's a mystery as to what kind of people live there. If we have inscriptions, we can look at the language and the style of the writing and be able to determine or have a really good guess of the type of people that lived there, whether they were Moabite or Ammonite or Israelite or whatever. And after pottery wash, we have our free time. This is a time where you get to swim in the pool or catch up on some sleep or be like me and have to catch up on some of the paperwork that I need to do. In fact, I probably should be doing that right now. Really appreciate you tuning in. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or visit www.arquital.com to see more content. Thanks. Have a great day.